think you're some funny guy? Hey, hey, Phil, listen up. Don't mess with me. My lawyer has been retained. If you come up here and you bring those tickets, well, forget about it, all right? We got an arrangement. You got a deal, pal. Hi, I'm Gabriel Romanek. I'm an actor, and I'm starving. This week, we're at Gino's. So I'm personally excited to be here. Not only am I starving, the excitement is on level 12 because I am originally from New York. So being here at Gino's Pizza Bar, knowing it's a New York slice, authentic, I, I'm just over the moon. So let's go on in and see if they qualify. All right. Boy, it's nice and hot. Such a sweet lady. So the owner here, Amanda, they said that they've been open for 10 years, 10 years. And they've actually had three other locations, I believe it, uh, in like the Queens area, definitely in New York. They've since shut down those areas because they want to focus on this one location, which apparently is popping all the time. Okay. Man, it smells so good. Like the moment that I walked in there, it reminded me of walking into Tony's Pizzeria on Liberty Avenue in Leopards. And Leopards Boulevard, it just brings back so many memories. Uh, you gotta tell them how popular they are with late night. Oh, night. yeah, yeah. She was, saying, she was saying how they're mainly late night, like around 2 a.m. She's like, you gotta come back here. You gotta, they're open until 4 a.m. But she's like, come here at like 2 a.m. and just get some B-roll shots of just like the mayhem that happens here. It's apparently a really fun late night crowd. They actually, I think it's insane how they got offered a a re reality show deal just for this and they decided to turn it down because you know they didn't want to mess things up for the customer you know trying to keep this place more authentic all right let's take a look oh my god look at that man that reminds me of home that reminds me of home holy shit okay so a lot of you watching right now might be like, is he about to do like a Dave Portnoy one bite pizza review thing where one bite, everybody knows the rules? I don't want to, you know, ride on Dave's coattails. Although Dave, who knows, maybe after watching this, you might have to come here and review. I know you've done Fellini's, you went to uh, Antico, and you're like, is this Antico? Is it Antico? I think it's Antico. <laughs> so let's see. All right, so there's a, there's a little bit of flop on that one, but, but that's all right. I don't mind a little bit of flop. I'm a big fan of cheese. It's got a little bit of grease. It's, holy shit. All right, well, first, we know the rule. First bite's the bite that you know if it's good. If you're a starving actor or just starving in general. Let's see. I don't know how many of you have actually had authentic pizza in New York, but that is that is pretty damn spot on. Pretty much, even though it had some flop, this crust has a nice crunch to it. It is it is so surprisingly good. Man, holy shit! Oh my god. <laughs> Let me see this. Just look at this. Like it's it's perfect. Look at the heat on that. A lot of oil. I would say a lot of oil, but that's definitely coming from the cheese as well. Maybe if you're not a big fan of cheese, there's maybe a slight bit too much cheese. But I just love cheese. Maybe it's the French side of me coming out. Alright. And Dave. <clears throat> Dave on uh, Barstool, he always goes for the crust. Damn, that is a good crust. For the longest time, I would eat everything except for the crust, because some places, they cook the pizza just way too long, and the crust starts to cut your palate. 
Can't stand sandwiches, subs, hoagies. We'll have to do that soon. Uh, <laughs> but they just cut your palate. This, this is a crust that's like, hey, you don't have cheese, you don't have tomato sauce, I'll just take the crust, thank you very much. Look, the Italian stuff is starting to come out. Like, hey, hey, Okay, well, you know what? So, Gino's Pizzeria, been here 10 years. I'm very impressed. Oh, man, this is going to be tough. Okay, I'm going to go with an 8-7. 8-7 it is for Gino's Pizzeria. For a typical plain pie, man, that is that is great. And hot. Oh man. Okay, so if you find yourself in Atlanta, this is a midtown Atlanta. Make sure you stop up at Gino's. Maybe at 2 a.m. Who knows? After you've had a few a few brewskis, maybe a vodka tonic. Come on over to Gino's and try some of this pizza. Also, I think we're going to have to come back here, Jared, because did you see that cheesecake? The big slice of the cheesecake? So freaking good. You share it on it. Oh, man, it's fantastic. Come on over, get some good food, meet some great people, and get to experience a New York-style life. So I think there comes a time in life when we think back to where we came from, if we left our hometown, and we have some resentments and, and memories that like don't st stick with us too well. But it's important to know and to always remember that you got to cherish and be grateful for where you came from. Because if you didn't come from these places or certain families or certain backgrounds, even if you're not a part of it anymore, you got to have gratitude for that. Because if that never happened, who would you be right now? And I think we can all agree that who you are right now is the best version of who you are. And I think that comes down to remembering your, your roots, remembering your, your, cult, your culture, your old locations, because that will always stick with you and it always sticks with your character. So, it's always about being grateful. Now let's see, to eat, yeah. <laughs>